Oh my, certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare, you look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey, and that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. Was in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I leave your swords here, please. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. I'll tell you the story later. Oh my, is he ever sorted? 
Oh, let's look around. This is dull. I wish to go chat with someone. Radovitz, not a witch hit. Do we know each other? It might even be worse. Looking for the second sword. Is it in. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. More round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Seeling. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it.
Now you must win it back. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his foot. Yet, do not underestimate. Let's do it. One more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it.
One more round? Sir Marius Flop. They say he never. Let's do it. Is it in case the first one breaks? Times of famine and never necessary. He's not been seen around town in some time. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? Your voice, unmistakable. Oh, yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuben. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. I suppose so. But when we actually come to try, the game is on two feet. What the witcher just wants? Mark my words. It's not enough. Four. Toast naturally now. This is. Gregor, fun. have you seen Durgoth? Just a moment ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. 
I really must find Durgov and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another night. I'm getting old. I said. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Does the temple guard know what goes on there? The guard is well aware. And then a colossal boom. Yes. Nice mask. Albert Vagelbud. No. I am a black panther. Oh, my count! Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Time. 
times of famine and war are necessary. They are how society manages itself. The paper bugs are new and maintain. Those were the days. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Gerald, coming? We'll see you turn. I haven't even noticed we're gone. <laughs> Careful. At last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there.
Albert! You promised to show me your laboratory! Albert! There you are, my love! Here you are! So, about this private show. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Your kidneys to a pulp. That's it, all together. The fire, that's your fate. Oh. begun to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to uh, clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it, and you must hurry. Everything's set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful.
careful, you scab. This is Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm- Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're- Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. No loitering round here. Good sir, have mercy. Oh, <laughs> you'd make a fine oh, sailor. I made Till souls in all. In. For me self, for me aching bones. <coughs> What's he doing here? Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Ism Grim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. <laughs> What's the rush? What? Easy. Fucking hey, yours. taken the city. Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. 
True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleet's flammable, and any assault on the city's sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whoreson Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Next time I'm... Get, get out, get out, pal. With a wagon axe. How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. 
Join us, please. Bravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Bravi was just about to play for his life and... Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! As a mate, and sit still, or you hurt yourself. But, but he won. So now we'll play something else. Thanks. 
don't know how I'll repay you. Natalis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. serving. Can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. My order of the higher arm. 